pinch a point tonight. Do you think it was a fair result in friction? Uh, yeah, I think it was in, in friction of, of the game. Um, I thought both teams looked to threat going forward. Um, their front three was class and, and so was ours, to be honest. We created some chances um, going the other way. But um, to lead three times away from home um, and only get a point, you, you're a little bit disappointed, really. And we've got a, part of our learning, we're a young side, part of our learning's got to be that we you know, see games out like that and pick up three points. Obviously, Staines are quite up there in the league. How disappointing is it the fact you lost to the league three times? Or are you happy with the point? No, that's, I just said that to the lads in there. I said, look, um, rightly so, they're getting a lot of plaudits. Uh, they're a young group and they are holding their own against teams uh, at the top end of this, this league. Um, but no way in the world should we be happy with you know just picking up a point. If you look back over our last four games, um, one defeat, two draws and a win, really, that should be at least three wins um, for the amount of ball and how, how well we've been playing. Um, so that's our next progression. So I don't want us to be happy coming away to, to sixth in the league in this, um, playing like we did, like I say, technically three times and just getting a point and being happy with it. We, we've got more quality than that in our dressing room and, you know, we've got to demand more. Sure. And about the timing of the goal, was quite, quite often, it was quite quickly after taking the lead and, and the one just before half time as well. Yeah. Is that, uh, Something's been happening quite a lot. Is that yeah, it is. Yeah, it's something that um, you know, as a group of players, we've got to address really. We've got, we've got to be better and keep the season just for half time, and it just, just changes everything. Rather than going in one nil, and you've got a lead and something to hold on to, you know, one all, and the game's in the balance again. And uh, you know, like I say, we are young, but I still think there's enough experience, enough games out on that pitch to, to see us through and, and, and deal with deal with that better than what we have done. Um, but, um, you know, it's a tough one, you can't be too critical, but um, you know, I'm always going to keep the demands and the uh, um, standards that high. Obviously lost Joel and, and Buddy before half-time, how disruptive was that, do you think? Yeah, I felt I did uh, play a bit of a part in the game, um, you know, being forced into those changes. Uh, Joel's been, been solid and getting a bit of an understanding between the three of them at the back. Um, but, you know, we dropped Danny back in and I thought, you know, I thought we'd done well going back in there, um, considering he's predominantly a centre midfield player. Um, but yeah, it did have a bit of an impact and then you know, we didn't quite have our two midfield players to try and sit in there. So we tried to change the shape a little bit at half time by having Miki in as like a third number 10 if you want, behind Popey, and just leave one uh, holding midfield player. Um, but I just felt that their full backs were getting a bit too much more. <laughs> to be honest, they still managed to get crosses in, but uh, you know it was, it was quite disruptive. Kieran ended up playing as like a, a bit deeper. Um, he obviously, once gets forward and, and, and score goals, and um, so it was a little bit sort of makeshift at the end. A first uh, start for Ben Pope for a while. How do you think he did? Yeah, definitely uh, grew into the game. Uh, with Ben, it's just like a confidence thing, and um, you know I, I thought the first goal came from him holding it up, switching it out out wide. Uh, in the middle of the park, and he just seemed to get a bit frustrated with some offsides and stuff like that. So, um, you know, uh, compliment to him. Though, like, you know, he's been out the side for a while and, and coming didn't didn't really look out of place. Um, obviously, that, that match sharpness just showed a little bit um, at times. But um, yeah, I think we would be pleased with uh, you know, his shift and, and how he got on tonight. Obviously, injuries and a couple of suspensions are mounting up now. How do you look forward to Saturday in terms of pushing the team up? And... Yeah, so we're going to. There's a few like um, Ra and Aaron and Jake that probably need minutes. So we've actually got a couple of friendly games penciled in, but it's probably come at a bad time. But we've got enough uh, good young players to, to see us through in them. And then we'll um, assess. Obviously, Jesse's got a bit of a knock on his knee as well, which is. You know, it's a bit stiff. Um, two two knocks to the ankles today from Joel, who's suspended in away and buddy. So we we'll just assess it and, and see how to get it on. We've we've got the lads that are getting minutes out at Locksford as well. So you know, we've got more than enough um, players in and around our squad and, and stuff like that. So so players won't won't be a problem for us. Um, you know, I can call on any one of them and they'll come in and uh, be more than adequate for this level. Sure. Thanks, mate. That's all. Good mate.